This is Studland Bay Wind Farm on the far northwest tip of mainland Tasmania. Over the next few minutes, you're going to hear the sounds of Studland Bay. We've made this short video to keep you informed. We know that people want accurate information about what a wind farm sounds like. The soundtrack on this presentation is an accurate reproduction of that sound. The sounds you'll hear were recorded at Studland Bay by acoustic engineers from Arup, a global firm of consulting engineers and designers with special skills in audio work. Arup's work includes technical advice for projects and clients including the MCG, Beijing's Water Cube, the Sydney Opera House and the HS2 High Speed Train Project in the UK. Arab sound experts set up sensitive recording equipment at different distances from a wind turbine at Studland Bay and recorded the sound it made. Then they calibrated the recordings, checking and verifying levels for playback through the headphones you're wearing. They also recorded a variety of background noises, the sounds you'd hear yourself in an open field on a calm day. near trees on a day with a light breeze. And near a road with a passing vehicle. In this presentation, you'll be able to hear what a wind turbine sounds like with normal background noises and without any background noise at all. Arup's recordings are the authentic sounds you'd hear if you were standing at Studland Bay Wind Farm at distances from a turbine of 2 kilometres, 1 kilometre, 500 metres and 250 metres. Now get ready to hear the sounds of Studland Bay. But first, let's explain the concept of wind shear because it can affect the sounds that may be heard when a wind turbine is operating. Wind speeds can vary at different heights. It can be calm at ground level, but 80 metres up at the top of the tower, at hub height, the wind can easily be strong enough to rotate the turbine rotor. As well, the blades themselves are so long that at the top of their rotation, they may be experiencing more wind than they do at the bottom. Wind shear affects the operation of turbines and the sound they make. The first sound you'll hear was recorded two kilometres away from the turbine. The video of the turbines that you're watching was taken from that point and the legend on the left provides detail about the sounds you're hearing. On the top, the distance from the turbine and the wind direction. Then the wind speed at hub height in metres per second, knots and kilometres per hour and below that, moving bars that show the sound levels that were recorded in decibels. The bar on the right shows the background sound level. On the left, you can see the sound level of the turbine. We'll change the background sounds so you can compare them. First, a calm day in the open. Next, a day with light breeze in foliage. Now, let's remove the background sound. All you're hearing now is a Studland Bay turbine from two kilometres away. Let's go closer to the turbine. Now we're one kilometre away. On a calm day. On a day with light winds. And without any background sound.
Closer still, this time, we've moved to within 500 metres of the turbine. This is what a Studland Bay turbine sounds like from 500 metres away on a calm day. With a light breeze in foliage, and with no background sound. Finally, let's move in almost to the foot of the turbine, just 250 metres away. A calm day. A light breeze. And with no background sound. But what about when the wind blows harder? Here's the background sound alone of a windy day, with winds around 10 metres per second, or about 20 knots. Now, let's add the sound of the turbine. Remember, we're close now, just 250 metres away. Now, let's go back to one kilometre from the turbine. That's actually closer to the turbine than the closest farmhouse at Studland Bay. If the occupants of that house had a window open, this is what they'd hear on a calm day. And if they closed it, a normal single glazed window, they'd hear this. The turbine sounds you've been listening to were recorded on site at Studland Bay using a sophisticated microphone that captures three-dimensional audio signals. A special foam cover was used to protect the microphone from wind noise. The recordings have been calibrated against a certified Class 1 sound level meter, which was used side by side with the recording equipment. Spectral calibration was undertaken to account for the measured insertion loss of the windshield and frequency response of the recording equipment. The background sounds you heard were layered onto the turbine recording to simulate the exact sound you'd hear at the Studland Bay Wind Farm, northwest Tasmania.